Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. In the message window, you can click the options button in the toolbar at the top of the message to set options you would like this message to have for three message properties. Importance, delivery, and tracking. When you click the options button, you'll see the message options dialog box. In the message settings section, you can set the message importance by clicking the drop down arrow at the right end of the importance text box. You can choose low, normal, or high. You can also choose the sensitivity for the message by clicking the drop down arrow at the right end of the sensitivity text box. And your choices are normal, personal, private, or confidential. Note that that in no way provides any kind of security or encryption. It just simply selects that information and puts it into the email so that they'll know what kind of message it is. In the voting and tracking option section, you can click the check boxes for any tracking options you want by checking either request a delivery receipt for this message or request a read receipt for this message or both. And if you check these, it will notify you when the message has been delivered to the recipient and also if the recipient has read the message if you're all on the same exchange server. You can also check the use voting buttons option and select to have voting buttons placed in the message from which users can click to respond to a question posed by your email. And this is great for taking surveys or polling. Choices appear in the drop down after the checkbox and you can see that there are a semi colon separated list of choices like yes, no, yes, no, maybe, or approve and reject. You can certainly type in your own list of choices as well. They just have to be a semicolon separated list. In the delivery options section, if you'd like the replies to your email sent to someone else's email address, you can check have reply sent to and then put in a different email address in the box to the right. You can click select names at the right end of that box to select a different name if you prefer. Also, if you would like to have a copy saved to your sent folder, make sure save sent message is checked. If you don't want a copy saved, you may uncheck it. Also, you can check do not deliver before and specify a date and a time at which to deliver the message. And this can be handy if you're going to input some email and then set it for delivery, let's say, while you're on vacation. Also, you can check expires after. In this case, if the recipient has not read the message by a certain date, it will be deleted. And this might be some setting you would choose if you were informing someone about a message or a meeting that was coming up. And if they hadn't read it by the time the meeting, actually occurred, you could just simply have the message expire so they wouldn't worry about it. Also, down below, you can choose an encoding for attachments, and usually that's best left at default. And you can also categorize or associate the message with contacts by clicking either the contacts button and choosing a contact to associate with this message, or categories, and then checking off the category for the message. And once again, this can help you find the message in the future. At that point, you would just simply click close after setting your message options. And then, of course, you would address the email and send it to the designated recipient. And click send. And here we've sent it to ourselves so that we can see some of the notifications. Notice that when the recipient opens the email, it tells them that a read receipt has been requested, and it asks if you would like to send a receipt. So the recipient can choose to say no and not send a read receipt, but usually they'll simply click yes. Notice here we actually have the message. And we have a little toolbar with our choices that we've created. And so when we sent out that message, what we would want people to do is select by clicking which one of the choices. 
So here we can, after selecting the choice, select to send the response, telling them that we've chosen choice C. Or you could edit the response before sending if you wanted to elaborate. In this case, I'm just going to choose send the response now and click OK. And note that the original sender then gets another email informing them of the recipient's choice. So here's the delivery notification and note the icon that it uses. You also have a read notification, note its icon. And as you have responses sent back to the email if you did voting, you can Another neat feature is that if you check your sent items and look at your test options, tracking tab, you can see everyone's response. It'll also show you totals for your voting. So choice C is currently in the lead. And that's it to setting your message options. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!